takes a lot of work to replace an engine and this labor is almost done uh, here we have uh, the engine that we just replaced and as you remember I was talking about replacing a uh, 2015 engine which is completely different on this 2013 Cascadia uh, the engine itself fits there is no much different components actually the engine uh, block and everything is almost the same but the accessories of the engine are going to vary because this is a totally different platform uh, emission platform engine and the 2013 engine which is going to be a uh, EPA 10 engine is going to have a different type of emissions it's something that you have to keep in mind if you are planning to do it and I want to give you some details if you are looking for a 2013 engine but you don't have that engine but you can only find 2014 15s and up engines for your truck there is a possibility to do it so I want to start by telling you that the engine is already on place you can see everything is secure motor mounts and everything they fit perfectly there is not um, a difference be between engines uh, DD15 engines doesn't change at all when it comes to the engine block the components then we are going to replace are these we still have to work on replace the water pump because you can see this water pump this is the newer water pump right we have some sensors over here but this engine originally doesn't come with sensors when i talk about the the truck the truck doesn't have the sensor for the uh, for the water pump so we have to remove this water pump and place the conventional water pump then just have a regular pulley it doesn't have the uh, the uh, thermo clutch over here and the harness you can see the harness over here this is the original harness that came with the original engine that was in this truck so we already replaced it the harness is already on place also there is a modification as i told you before uh, over here in this area we have the two stage fuel filter the original engine had the three stage so um, there is a kit then you can buy the two stage uh, filter fuel filter housing you can buy that kit and it will come with all the plugs you need to um, put it on place and then to connect the sensors because the sensors are connected in a, are located in a different way as for example this sensor this is the pressure sensor for the housing on the three stage filter is going it's going to be located over here so is the uh, length of uh, wiring that you have is going to be very short so what you have to do is buy the kit but if you don't want to buy the kit all you have to do is from the wiring you can see i did this wiring and the other wiring over here to the other sensor over here and the water uh, coolant uh, water in fuel sensor over here there is a sensor that goes below because on the other the three stage the sensor goes right here and the plug is completely different so we have to modify that and also we need to buy um, an adapter for the doser block because the doser block is completely different um, and that's pretty much it on this side this side doesn't require that much work all you have to do is to buy I mean or made your own cables these are made in myself I didn't buy them so we can save some money but you can buy the uh, cables it's not it is not something very expensive probably on the on the wiring you are only want to spend like around like probably like 50 60 bucks if you want but I can do it myself why I want to spend that much money so and I've, I, I, I have found doing that and there is another thing that we have to do over here is the hoses over here see this is the return hose this is the pressure hose so all we have to do is make sure that they reach we have to flip this one in the opposite direction this one is already on the right direction but we, this this line this line is super long so we have to cut over here in order to get it together to this one and that is everything when it comes to the fuel system on this d15 engine everything else over here is pretty much the same the wiring is the one that is completely different than we replaced from the other engine as i said before but everything else is there the fuel pump and everything is going to be the original of the engine of the 2015 engine the one thing is for the 2013 is going to stay on the engine as you can see over here we have the fuel pump the fuel module and all those components are there because we don't need them at all so all we need is uh, the wiring 
and the uh, and, and the water pump but when it comes to the other side it's going to be a little harder let's go over here when it comes to the turbo side it's going to be a little harder because the turbo has multiple components than are original for the epa 10 2013 truck right here so uh, we have uh, the original manifold the EGR cooler is the same of the 2015 truck engine uh, the EGR is from the EPA 10 which is going to be the 2013 truck we have the turbo from the original truck and the turbo compound uh, the doser block over there is right there the doser uh, injector is from the original truck and the piping then goes to the ACR box See, this is the modification you have to do if you are planning to do an engine swap, then it is not the original engine. As, as you remember, again, I'm telling you, this engine, the engine itself is from a 2015 truck, but the truck is a 2013. So there is a big difference on those years, and this engine is going to be completely different. So to make sure that it's going to fit perfectly and it's going to work perfectly, you have to replace all these components in order to make this engine work perfectly with the chassis that is on right now. Because this engine is way newer than this chassis, but it's going to work well. Uh, AC compressor, um, alternator, uh, fan closure, and everything else is going to be the same. Radiator is going to be the same, so we are not going to uh, replace that. So that, that doesn't vary at all. It's mostly com engine components on the exhaust area is why it varies the most. In the fuel area, it's just going to be little modifications to plugs and stuff like that. That is going to be pretty much all uh, about it. And um, right here, pretty much we are almost done with the installation of the engine. Of the engine. Uh, after all these modifications to the engine, pretty much we are almost done. All we need to do right now is to put everything together that belongs to this chassis, and we can start the engine. Uh, when I continue that uh, uh, engine startup, after uh, we get everything together so you can see how this engine is gonna run and uh, if there is any extra modification to do i want to let you know here also it's very important in order for this engine to work you have to use the, com the original computer so the engine came with the 2015 computer which is quite was the original computer of this engine so uh this truck had a 2013 so we have to remove the computer from the engine over there from the one is broken and install it to this uh, 2015 with the wiring and that's the reason why we're installing the wiring in order to make sure that this engine is going to work right if you replace the computer uh, if you don't replace the computer and if you install this engine with the computer then it came uh, with 2015 the engine won't work so that is something very important that you have you guys gotta do before doing any other installation the computer gotta be the original computer then the engine has on the chassis then you are going to put it on but uh it's gonna be a little complex if you don't understand these concepts because uh, i can feel that it's going to be a little uh um complicated in the way to um to put everything together since there is a lot of components and a lot of things that you have to understand to uh, do this job right but uh, my point is to show you that it's possible to swap the engine it's pretty easy uh, it doesn't require that much but it requires a lot of labor in order to get this together over here um, if you want to do it right uh, you can do it the other way without installing all these components if you leave the original turbo in camp the engine is still gonna work but you want to have different consequences the engine not working right and stuff like that because the turbo flow is going to affect in a different way how the engine is going to work but um after right now this is all uh, i guess uh we're gonna continue the video after we start the engine because i wanna i, I wanna give you that idea how the engine is gonna run how it runs and everything after because uh the other day um i saw this engine and they did an engine swap from the 2015 the same way 2016 or something like that and they didn't replace the the components most of the components they just replaced the computer 
and the engine wasn't working right. And that's the reason why it's important to do that. And that's the reason why I want to show you this, so that way you can see how is the proper way to do it in order to make it work uh, right. Uh, you have any questions be sure to comment below if you have experiences about swapping engines like this It's very important and you comment below that way uh, we all can share different thoughts and opinions and anything else then can be helpful to learn more about this type of uh, processes and um, it's very important to uh, to share your questions and if you can answer the questions is very important too because I, sometimes i don't have the time to do it so if you can do it for me that would be perfect be sure to follow me on instagram if you want to ask me anything directly go there uh, just be sure to have the information necessary like pictures codes and everything else then it's going to help me to give you the best uh, answer possible to the question that you have and uh, when i send support to the channel just check the description of the video i have details how to send support to the channel and thank you for watching